Welcome to this episode of Orthodontics in Summary. Today's podcast is looking at Light Force, a relatively recent digital innovation within orthodontics. And this is a slightly different podcast where I'm going to review how Light Force works, the proposed advantages and claims, and emerging research about this digital integration into orthodontics. So, what is Light Force? Well, it is a 3D printed bracket using digital planning and digital manufacturing. The bracket itself is made from a ceramic polycrystalline and it's a labial fixed appliance. Now, this innovation came about from Alfred Griffin, who founded the company in 2015. So how does it work? Well, it entails using a digital planning software, which is Lightforce's Light Plan which gives a visualization of the outcome of the tooth movement. The tooth position can be altered as well as a bracket position. And at the outcome, an individualized prescription is made for each individual tooth. So once a case setup has been approved, a digital indirect bonding tray is produced. The brackets are placed in situ by the manufacturer and sent to the clinician for indirect bonding to take place. Now, one of the main advantages I perceive from having a customized 3D bracket is that the bracket base and the slot can be modified. And what that, does that mean? Well, we don't have to be restricted by positioning the bracket now in the facial access of the clinical crown. It means by changing the slot and also the bracket base, the moment we require can take place with the bracket being positioned elsewhere. And this means we have a change in mindset as to no longer being restricted by those anatomical barriers. This expresses itself perhaps the most when it comes to talk. If we're not positioning the tooth in the facial access point, actually talk expression varies significantly. But actually, if we can modify that through the bracket base, we can choose other parameters to vertically position our brackets and focus on other aspects such as the smile line. Now, because it is a 3D printed bracket, there's a choice of bracket slot sizes. It can be 018, 020 or 022. And that may lend itself to the concept of being bi-dimensional when it comes to choosing slot sizes. But also it can be individually customized, i.e. one tooth can have a certain size slot to suit our mechanics, allowing us to alter the anchorage balance, not just anterior to posterior, but also within the arch at the same time. Other advantages that have been claimed from Lightforce, well, it's got an adapted base, so there's less adhesive, less likely to get failures. Other things Lightforce has innovated is having mini tubes and bike turbos incorporated as well. Now, the key advantage that has been proposed is a shortening of duration through this accuracy of digital indirect printing. Now, there's been one recent study of Lightforce in the JCO by Tim Wheeler and his group. Now, it was a retrospective study. They looked at over 900 Lightforce cases and compared them to 300 conventional cases. And this showed that there was a significant reduction, both in duration by 30% and also in appointments by 30%. Now, this was the first of study of its kind. Unfortunately, there were significant flaws with this study the main one lacking an outcome measure to look at these particular cases and not matching controls. Either way, it's useful to have a starting point for research looking into this technology in orthodontics. Now, the rest of the claims, there isn't any research behind so far. One of those is a reduction in complication rates, whether it's white spot lesions or dehiscences or root resorption. There's also a reduction in complication compliance and also biomechanical limitations that are part of the conventional system. And it makes sense if we can customize the bracket base and slot position, this could help us overcome some of those barriers. Other claims are things like saving doctors time and money, removing the need or eliminating wire bends and repositions as well. Something I'd really like to do in my clinical practice. So what are my thoughts on Lightforce? Well, it's exciting to see this digital integration into label conventional appliances. Now, CAD CAM technology is not new to orthodontics, but has so far been really the preserve of clear aligner therapy and customized lingual appliances. And it's great to see these ideas and concepts being brought into conventional label fixed appliances. 
the items that have been described with light force are not necessarily unique to that system. For example, the idea of offsetting bracket positioning. That has been established in lingual appliances, but it can be often difficult to get the brackets into the ideal place. Digital planning and visualization is part and parcel of how clear align therapy works, and it was actually there with the inception of clear aligners. There's also this idea of customization. At what point do we then look elsewhere? The bracket is one component, but we've still got to look at the arch wise as well. And I tried to find Light Force's recommended arch wise sequence and couldn't find it. And that is a significant part of the customization of force delivery to incorporate the arch wire into it, which at the moment Light Force doesn't seem to have in play. There's a claim made by Light Force that there's a reduction in the frequency of appointments needed and they can be extended to 10 to 12 week intervals. However, the process of ligation is through elastomeric modules. Now it still confuses me how that can be extended. As we all know, elastomeric modules are subject to plastic deformation or elastic decay. And actually without re-ligating the wire, surely there'd be a loss of force delivery. Either way, it's interesting to look at the research that's been published and I look forward to seeing more high quality research looking at digital technology in orthodontics. And the key question that we have as innovative as these ideas are is does it make our clinical practice better? I hope you've enjoyed listening to this episode of Orthodontics in summary. Please do let me know if you have more ideas and thoughts about the podcast and other topics to explore. But as always, please do subscribe and look forward to the next episode.